So sometimes when you're restoring a database in SQL Server, um, you bring along certain users within that database. Um, so if you go to um, your database and you look under security and users, you will see a list of users. Yet when you go and try to log in to the server with these users, you're not able to log in. When you go then try at the security logins for the server, you see that they're not there, you go to create them, and there is an error. How do we fix this problem? Why is there a problem? So the first reason why this is a problem is because you're restoring a database. You're not restoring the SQL server itself. So you're only restoring the users in the context of within the database. And the server itself, since it's not being restored, does not have that information um, restored on the security side for your server, so they are not added in this section. And the problem is, when you try to add that user, you can't because it then says it already existed. The only way to solve this problem that I know, and what I do, is by actually going back and deleting this user. Um, sometimes you'll also get an error in doing this, perhaps because that user has a particular role. Um, what you need to do is then, most likely, it, it's like the owner role, um, and we, we, I will show you by double-clicking on this user that might be giving you this problem. And you'll see here, there's a number of roles. All you have to do is unclick these roles. You also might get an error for this. That might be because there is no one else besides this user that has that role. So if you remove that role, no one will be able to have any control on that database. So the one way to take care of that problem is to create a new user and then give that user those roles. Then go back, take those roles away from the one that you tried to delete and then you'll be able to delete it finally and then after all of that trouble you can go back to security logins for the SQL server itself add that user with the correct username and password that you want and then go into security and recreate that user and re-add those roles to that user a very huge long loop of problems for one simple thing, but taken care of. This is a lot, so I'm just going to quickly go over the problem again. The problem is your user for that database is not connected to the user security login for the server. So you need to completely erase that user and then create a new one. If you have a problem deleting the user, you need to create a new user, assign that new user those roles within that database, and then delete, and then you can finally delete the user that you wanted to delete. And when I'm saying this user, you only have to create it in the database side. You do not have to go and create it in the login side. So once you delete that user, you can then create the new login with that user and re-give those settings that you desire. Alright, hope this helps. Have a great day.